Okay guys, you want to see my new bike? Here it is. Well, it's an electric bicycle. So this is a big surprise for my channel because if it has two wheels, I'll ride it. And I always, why is this bicycle revolutionary? Uh, because before you had to make your own. You have to kind of like buy the front wheel and you had to have a frame and it was complicated. And it's revolutionary not because everything is in one box, but because everything is in one box for about $500. So I'm going to put a link in the video description and you're going to see how much I bought this bike from Amazon. All the electric bicycles, they drop like flies. So if you are one of those guys that paid four grand for an electric bicycle and you don't like it, you want to sell it, it's going to be very, very hard to find another guy that is going to have $4,000 to to buy the bike from you. In my case, I think that this uh, bicycle, this electric bicycle kit is very, very revolutionary because what's gonna happen is gonna bring the bike prices down. No electric bicycle should be $4,000 and shipping was absolutely, absolutely super stupid fast. Like it got here, like I paid for it Sunday night and it got here Tuesday. What's in the box? Now I've read some reviews on this bike and the most of the complaints that I've saw from people is that it's hard to assemble. Uh, everything else was, was good reviews except that it's hard to assemble. So, uh, as you know, I could build an entire dirt bike. How hard can it be to uh, assemble this bicycle? So, it's nicely packed. Uh, everything is wrapped together, it seems like. I can tell you that you don't have air in the, in the tires, so there's no air in the tires. There's a box of screws that got a little bit mangled in the process, but nothing too crazy. And this is the bike. It's all zip tied together. I wanted to get one of these bikes for a very, very long time. This one is the one that has brake discs front and rear. They're mechanical, but they're brake discs. Better than those stupid uh, rubber things that you have to replace all the time. So I like that part a lot about it. Uh, it has front suspension, not rear suspension. Spring, oh wow, I, I'm surprised how light this wheel is. Oh my God. Huh. I've been doing dirt bikes for too long. This wheel is like nothing. So, uh, one of the things that I saw online about it is somebody was complaining that the f he couldn't install the front wheel because I guess the fork was in reverse or something like that. Some, some stupid guys that just couldn't put cannot put two things together so uh, as you can see it comes with all the things that you need including the handlebars so everything is disassembled so you have to basically peel everything off oh well, I was scared for a second because I couldn't find a battery pack I'm like oh no where's my battery pack but that is at the bottom of the box so we're good this looks like it's the seat and then there's some more stuff over here for the handlebars uh, obviously for a cheap bike you can't expect much but you expect to last at least a little bit right now I'm not 650 million pounds either which helps but these are the handlebars these are metal this is the controller that I saw uh, that's, that looks, looks good and I'm not gonna go in order of how they recommend for you to assemble it I'm just gonna go uh, my own way I'm curious to see what they give you in this box what's in here okay there are two panels I assume these are the tools yeah those are the tools a manual what's inside here oh this is a charger 36 volt charger and there's some oh keys not because you started just because you could release the battery pack which is expensive I guess it's two hundred dollars so <clears throat> okay so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna start with a seat I'm gonna put the seat on first once the handlebars are on um, you will be able to put the bike upside down so you can work on it so I'm going to get the handlebars on. As you can see, all the wires are already routed into it, so you don't have to do too much work as far as that goes. You don't have to be a genius. Like, consider this one as complicated as something from Ikea. Like, if you cannot assemble something that comes from Ikea, you shouldn't attempt this, but otherwise, well, 
And if you're buying something from Ikea that is supposed to be a bookshelf and it turns out to be a piano, then uh, also you shouldn't do this. But if you have just some basic knowledge, you should be fine. There is uh, one thing that I've noticed that there is no there is no uh, middle on this handlebar, so you kind of have to eyeball it. Kind of like put it in the middle, so just so you know, there's no center gear changers. Uh, I want to make sure I don't break them when I flip the bike upside down, so I'm going to flip the bike upside down right now and make sure they don't, they don't break in the process. Oh, there is some more packaging I forgot about. This one, I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out soon. Once I take it out of the box. Oh, this is a flashlight. You know, it would be smart uh, while you're assembling the bike, take your battery pack out and charge it so you could actually play with your bike once you're done assembling it. So, to put the front wheel in, remember it has to go to between your brake discs over there. So, uh, the disc brake has to go through. Take these nuts off or loosen them up all the way to the end. This nuts. And then there is a spacer. The spacer should be on the outside, so the nuts are off. And look how nice it fits. Very nice fit. It has a little washer over here. It has a little hole that has to fit into that pin. So there's like a little pin. Just goes in there real quick. And they also give you a wrench. Uh, I assume this is a 15. Yeah, it's a 15, it's all metric. So number 15 and just get it nice and tight so you don't lose your wheel when you pull up the first wheelie. Man, this is actually very, very, very easy to assemble. I'm actually very surprised how easy it is to assemble. It's, there's nothing to it. Okay, so there is a left pedal and a right pedal. They are counterclockwise. One of them is counterclockwise because uh, you don't want to unscrew them by mistake when you're pedaling. So one is for the left and one is for the right. They're not clearly marked. I don't see any markings on it, but there's not a, oh, it says, it says left over here. So uh, this is for the, for this side over here. And remember, it's counterclockwise. Why? Because when you're pedaling, you don't want to fall off. Very easy to screw in. Very easy to put together. Reminds me of when I was a kid and I was assembling my first bike. Good times. Good times. It's a number 15 again. Get them nice and tight. There it is. The bike, once you put the wheel on, you can just flip it upside down. And then uh, the kickstand is already mounted on it. So the kickstand is already mounted on it. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some air in it. So I'm gonna turn my compressor on. I wanna go for about three PSI. I'm gonna go for about three PSI. Now one more thing, which is very, very important. The handlebars have two screws over here, two bolts. Uh, they need to be tightened up because if you don't, uh, you will, uh, you will, uh, your handlebars are not fixed in the fixed position. So they give you a Allen wrench for this. There it is. And I don't think that they could come up higher than it already is. So this is as high as it goes. And you want to make sure that it's straight. So your wheel should be aligned with the handlebars. This is something that you could fix later on. They also gave us a flashlight. And to be very honest with you, I might have to pull out the instructions because I don't know where the flashlight goes. The picture doesn't necessarily match. And I don't think you got a wrench for this bolt. No, nope. it's a number 10 and you haven't got one in the package. So you better have a number 10 to install your light. This is gonna be my first electrical bike and this for, 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 for a cheap first electrical bike, I think it's gonna work really, really well. So that's my point as far as why this one I think is revolutionary. 
this bike it's because for a, for a starter bike to just putz around in the neighborhood you know to go to the park and walk your dog this one is actually it's actually really really good so there is a back uh, there is a back uh, um, what can I call this a back reflector so I'm gonna install this one too even though I don't really need it. But can you believe it took me less than 20 minutes maybe to put it all together? Uh, less than 20 minutes. Let's see how it rides. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The most important part, the battery. I forgot the battery. Oh, let's see. That's why they gave you these keys. It's for the battery pack, so the battery pack basically installs over here like this. Okay, and that way you cannot steal it. That's nice. And it has a little uh, indicator over here that if you turn it on from the bottom, uh, you can push this indicator, it tells you how much power you have. Also, my light is on already. I must have a on-off switch over here somewhere. Oh, it has a horn and it has a light switch. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. So, uh, my bike is ready. My bike is ready. Okay, so this power seems to be turning it on. It tells me that I have some power on. Haha! -ha. <laughs> okay, so basically it's ready to go. Look. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready to do my first ride on it. Right? I haven't adjusted any of the brakes, uh, the gears. I don't know where they are. Okay, so I'm ready to do my first ride on it, right? So let's twist the throttle, see what's gonna happen. Yeah, first gotta try a wheelie, right? And boy, wheelies! You ready? <laughs> yeah, a wheelie's really nice. I'm very surprised. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. So no pedaling. Full throw. My batteries are not charged, unfortunately. My batteries are not charged, but up the hill. This 250 motor is not like amazingly strong, but look at this. This is all on throttle, so I'm not I'm not pedaling at all. I'm just just riding it on throttle. The seat is not very um, comfortable. Maybe I should help a little bit. Oh yeah. This is so much fun. Let me show you the difference between pedal assist and no pedal assist from a different point of view. Okay, so we're gonna have a dead stop. No pedal assist, so just me and my power. Same exact gear. And now, pedal assist, so I'm gonna twist the throttle. Same gear. Yeah. 
huge difference. <laughs>